so we're not so much as exposing them to an aviation career as a big corporation. Sure. And once we get them in there, after that hour, we bring them back and we force them to stand up and answer our questions, tell what they've learned. Uh, we challenge them to find out what skills they're lacking in. Are they lacking in computer skills? Are they lacking in task skills, organization skills, communication skills? Force them to do that, and then we force them to write thank you notes to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> because what we've learned over the past couple of years, we've had this for two years, is that they don't know how to do that skill. They don't have that skill. Or they have the skill, but it's not as refined as we think it could be. Mm -hmm. So by repeating that every week, six, seven, eight weeks, we're going to get that to the point where it's going to be no big deal. Yeah. yeah. You know, we expose them a lot of things. We first interview them. We sit them in front of us. We interview every single kid that applies. And we pick five from three schools, Wooddale, White Station, and Central. Yeah. I think we had about 60 applicants this year, so we had oh, to interview 60 hmm. kids. And it's about four of us sitting in front of these kids, and they're scared crazy. I bet. <laughs> I mean, I would have been scared crazy, too. Yeah, it's amazing. These uniforms. Especially you know, those dudes sitting there with straps on. I know. You know, know. We're, we're very, you know, we're very <laughs> mean looking, you know. So, But, you know, we ask this. We really... <laughs> We have a really easy application. It's what do you know about the program, what do you know about Pinnacle Airlines, why do you want to be in the program. Mm -hmm. It's not designed to find out their GPAs. We can tell yeah. from just speaking with them. And our questions are related to basically trying to get to know them, trying to understand their maturity level, trying to understand if they're motivated. Because what we're really looking for is kids that aren't doing as well academically, mm -hmm. but are motivated to be something, to do something. But they don't know what they want to do. Yeah. They're, they're just... I want to go to college or I want to go to trade school, but I just have no idea what I can be. Um, the school board wins because now they have a corporation who's pouring into them and pouring into their students and yeah. spending money on their students and uh, giving them something that they cannot give to their students. Uh, the company wins because for us, what we spend on those students, and they seem a lot to some people, is pennies to us mm -hmm. yeah. for a large corporation. Even if it worked for a small corporation, because instead of taking 15 like us, you can take two. Yeah. You can take three. You know, as long as you are, are spending time trying to get more of a one-on-one, -on -one, or one-on-two type time, you know, it'll be beneficial. Mm -hmm. And then the last group is us as mentors. We feel like we win the most because, you know, it, it, it changed us. The program has changed us as adults. It's, it's been the great thing about Memphis is that anybody you talk to wants to get involved. Mm -hmm. They just don't know how to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody we talk to downtown says, I'd love to help you. Just tell me. I mean, Felicia Suzanne said, next semester, come back. It's all on us. You guys don't have to pay us a dime. Mm -hmm. You know, all this stuff. I mean, we'll write it off. Wow. So we have all these offers of people that want to help and want to help, but we just don't have a place to put them all. Right. Yeah. If we had more corporations, we'd have this huge well, collaboration well, well, of people that would easy. come in here and wow these kids. Wow. Yeah. They want to they they contribute.